pool now? Yeah. Okay. Right, we shall begin. So Gareth and uh, Ruth. Yeah. Dearly friends, we're gathered here in the presence of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God. Those who take the marriage vows are brought into the closest and most sacred of human relationships. Their lives are blended into one as the waters of confluent streams are mingled and they must share the joys and sorrows of life. And from this close intimate relationship springs obligation of the most solemn and lasting character. The husband is under obligation to throw around the wife with his protecting care, to shield her from the rough storms of the world, to cling to her with unchangeable fidelity, to cherish her with unfailing affection and to guard her happiness with unceasing vigilance. You think, Gareth, you can do that? Yes, I can. Why not? Yes. And the wife is under obligation to love and cherish her husband, to honor and sustain him and be true to him in all of your ways. This love which I speak is slow to lose patience. It looks for a way of being constructive. It is not possessive. It is neither anxious to impress nor does it cherish ideas of its own importance. Love has good manners and does not pursue selfish advantage. It is not touchy. It does not compile statistics of evil or gloat over the wickedness of other people. Love knows, on the contrary, it is clad with all good men when truth prevails. Love knows no limits to its endurance, no end to its trust, no fading to its hope. It can outlast anything. It is, in fact, the one thing that still stands when all else has fallen. Gareth and Ruth, since it is your desire to take each other as husband and wife, please face each other and hold each other's hands. Then look into each other's eyes as you say in your wedding vows. Do you, Gareth, take this beautiful young woman, Ruth, as your wife? I do. Please repeat after me, Gareth. You can look into her eyes. From this moment, from this moment, I Gareth, I Gareth, take you Ruth, take you Ruth, as my best and good friend for as life, as my best and good friend for life. I pledge to honor, I pledge to honor, encourage and support you, encourage and support you through our journey together, through our journey together. When our ways become difficult, when our ways become difficult, I promise, I promise to stand by you, to stand by you, to uplift you, to uplift you. So that through our union, so that through our union, we can accomplish more. We can accomplish more than we could alone. Than we could alone. I promise. I promise to work at our love. To work at our love and always. And always make you a priority. Make you a priority in my life. In my life. With every beat of my heart. With every beat of my heart. I will always. I will always. And always love and you. Always love you. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, do you take this handsome, good-looking young man, I Gareth, do. as your husband? I do. Please repeat after me, Ruth. From this moment. From this moment. I, Ruth. I, Ruth. Take you, Gareth. Take you, Gareth. As my best friend. As my best friend. For life. For life. I pledge to honour. I pledge to honour. Encourage and support you. Encourage and support you. Through our walk together. Through our walk together. When our ways become difficult. When our ways become difficult. I promise. I promise. To stand by you. To stand by you. To uplift you. To uplift you. So that through our union. So that through our union. We can accomplish more. We can accomplish more. Than we could alone. Than we could alone. I promise. I promise. To work at our love. To work at our love. And always, and always make you a priority. Make you a priority in my life. In my life. With every beat of my heart. With every beat of my heart. I will always. I will always. And always. And always. Love you. Love you. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
take her hand. Repeat it when you look into her eyes. I give this ring to you, Ruth. I give this ring to you, Ruth. And to you alone. And to you alone. As a promise. As a promise. Of my marriage vows. Of my marriage vows. It is a symbol. It's a symbol. Of the unbroken bond. Of the unbroken bond. Of our love. Of our love. As you wear this ring. As you wear this ring. May it be a constant reminder. May it be a constant reminder. Of how much I love you. Of how much I love you. Not only on this precious day. Not only on this precious day. But each and every day of our lives. But each and every day of our lives. <laughs> Take his hand. Take it out from your room. I give this ring to you, Gareth. I give this ring to you, Gareth. And to you alone. And to you alone. As a promise of my marriage vows. As a promise of my marriage vows. It is a symbol. It is a symbol. Of the unbroken bond. Of the unbroken bond. Of our love. Of our love. As you wear this ring. As you wear this ring. May it be a constant reminder. May it be a constant reminder. Of how much I love of you. Of how much I love you. Not only on this precious day. Not only on this precious day. But each and every day of our lives. But each and every day of our lives. <laughs> Gareth and Ruth, you have come to this beautiful island, Ajitaki, especially the Tamanu Bichu so, and made promises to each other, exchange ring as, as a token of your love to each other. May your love grow stronger each and every day of your life. I urge you that you will hold on to each other, love each other, trust in each other, believe in each other as long as you both shall love. As a minister of God, I now have the pleasure in pronouncing you. Husband and wife. Thank you very much. Gareth, you ready? Yeah. It's <laughs> so bright now. Thank you. <laughs> now Thank you're married. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> oh, how's Alice? You get some pictures. Yeah.